Come on, Beetlejuice, who is our GM for today? As it turns out, it is our dear friend Bangara. Bangara, come hop into Discord when you get the chance. Good evening. I, I see you. Hello. Good, e good evening. It's like 11.50 for me. I mean... I'm offended. It's uh, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Good 8 p.m. to you, too. <laughs> so, tell us. We've got this game coming up, uh, and this is something that I've never really heard of. Well, I'm not sure how popular this show was that this game is based off in America, but um, it's uh, based on a French uh, cafe in World War II. Uh, it's it's they, they're part of the resistance or the resistance as they say and uh, it's alo alo for the amiga that's right alternative software thank you for giving us an alternative to good games we've got alo alo yes <laughs> it looks like some people were able to guess honestly i'd never heard of this uh this show at all it's um it used to be funny, but I rewatched some highlights, and I'm, I'm now... Ugh, this is definitely early 80s. Oh my but gosh, yeah. isn't isn't that strange that humor can change so much in just a oh, decade man. or two? Laughing tracks, just... Ugh, they still exist, I know, but my goodness. Yeah, thank you, Big Bang Theory, for keeping the dead alive. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, like, this show is like, everyone in this show is above 45, I'm not even kidding, it's, it's amazing. Well, that's fine. Like, in the 80s it didn't matter, like, those were the actors, right? Everyone was just old, and, I mean, not saying that 45 is that old, but still, if you compare it to common, like, current day series, it's all young people, right? Oh yeah, well, you don't need just young and super attractive people. I mean, maybe you should. I, okay, I'm not gonna say no to young and super attractive people. As long as they're like at least in their 20s or so. You know what, let's just have a bunch of old people. They're attractive to me. Because they're cute. They're adorable. Bingera, I just, yeah, there's no way. I'm. <laughs> what about mustaches? Mustaches? Big. Hairy French mustaches. Ooh. You you love the sprites in this game, though. Mustaches. I'm trying to think. If you're talking about like the mustache on Bob's Burgers. What is Bob's Burgers? Oh my gosh! Are you serious? That sounds like two of the most American words I've ever heard in my life. Okay, you need to watch Bob's Burgers. Dragon, thank you for those bits. Uh, but yeah, you need to watch Bob's Burgers. It's on Hulu if you've never watched it. it's What is Hulu? What is this magic? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Does anybody want to explore media in the 21st century to Bangara? Because it might take a little work. See, Hulu doesn't exist outside of the U.S. apparently. Look, I have Netflix, but that's as far as I go. <laughs> okay. I don't Is it on Netflix? Have, I do not even have Amazon service in Belgium. So, that's how far behind we are uh -oh. in the world of interwebs. Wow, you, you really need to get with the times, man. Look, Belgium invented the internet, and we stopped there, okay? Yeah, you didn't inv invent it good enough. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I'm hearing. Okay, Belgium... No, 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 it was, it was invented in Utah. It was like, I don't know, man. There's something with Belgium and sending an email, the first email <laughs> over the internet to America. <laughs> As soon as Justin heard me say that the internet was invented in Utah, he stuck his head in here and was like, what? What? No, no, the internet. University of Utah was one of the first universities to uh, connect to the internet and to participate in creating it. So I'm already getting whispers of 
Bob's Burgers sent to me. Yeah, yeah, I'm... yeah. <sighs> you have to watch Bob's Burgers, Bangera. Okay, that's going to be uh, the the best way to understand current meat or current humor in the United States. All right. Okay. Do I want to know? <laughs> it's really question. good. It's really good. Uh, oh, by the way, about the internet, that's another sick Utah biology fact. So I'm glad that... <laughs> what? Arpanet. Oh, they, they made the Arpanet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biology fact, mm. Utah. The Arpanet. The Arpanet, yeah. I'm Googling this. You've said more words to me that I don't understand than I've heard in years. Wow, okay, do I need to talk about other American food like hot dogs? Do you know what a hot I, dog is? I know what a hot dog is. Oh, good. What, what breed is it, though? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> what is- how do you even spell ARPANET? A-R-P-A-N-E-T. Our oh, I, I, I added a T-E because I'm European. Oh, so like cigarette arpanet? <laughs> it's a little... Uh, it's a little arpa. <laughs> when I'm looking for arpanet, I just get maps of the, of the US? I don't know. I give up. Look, Just this game is all about collecting sausages, okay? We don't need no arpnets. We're gonna collect a bunch of sausages and we're gonna like it. You know what? You can collect a few arpnets in the game, that's fine too. Random Genius, thank you for subscribing. Oh, it's been two months already. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, we. Oh, Utah also has the Utah teapot, uh, which is important. Teapots. Yeah, do you know about. Uh, teapots and computers. In computers? Yeah. If you put a teapot in the computer, it stops working because moisture it just isn't good for computers, you know. It really wasn't the best invention in Utah. <laughs> I'm... The more this goes on, the more I'm getting confused. <laughs> what is happening? No, okay, the Utah teapot was essentially created as a way to uh, do 3D graphics. In essence, what they wanted to do was find a way to quickly render surfaces in 3D graphics that were complex, and a teapot was the easiest shape for them uh, to think of that would actually show up in the real world and uh, which could be rendered in 3D. So if you ever watch that old screensaver on Windows, the one with the pipes going all over the place, Every once in a while, a teapot would show up as one of the joints there, and that was the Utah teapot. Uh, in fact, you should look it up. That and ARPANET. I looked up ARPANET, and I just get maps of the U.S. I don't get it. <laughs> That's because we are the ARPANET now. <laughs> So, um, do we have a zombie player, or did... We do have a yeah. zombie player, but unfortunately the zombie player is a little bit sleepy. We're giving them a poke with a stick, trying to get them... Oh! And they're live! Sweet! Well, okay, turns out that the stick poke worked. Yeah, unfortunately one of our players is sick today... Which is sad, I'm, uh, you know, it's never fun for people to get sick, but the show must go on. Let me see if I can find my skull and crossbones. Okay, here we go, I've got, yeah, <laughs>
because I just need to slip that in for our zombie player and then get them captured and then we'll be ready to go. Uh, Silver Surfer, come join us. Thank you so much for playing on such an exciting day. Yes, this game is based off the British TV show. Yes, and per Bangera, it's not very good. What? I mean, the, the show, show. The show is good for its time. No, you said it's boring. No, it's good and for its dumb. time. It's just, it's and just you're like, wow. Early 80s. And it has a laughing track. Well, the early 80s essentially implies dumb. <laughs> I am thing I'm from late eighties. Late eighties? Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, it's fine. Honestly, I'm always fascinated with other countries' versions of humor because sometimes they're amazing and sometimes I just don't get them. And I'm wondering where this would fit. Is like is it slapstick? Yes, very much so. Aha! Okay, so that is essentially European 80s. Okay. We're all getting cultured here. These are your four players, including a zombie, which the zombie is welcome to come and join chat if you would like them to. It's basically silly one-liners about mild racist thing, the show. I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but that is very much the 80s. Uh, mild but, racism, you know? Mild racism, the decade. And you in know, racism, I mean between French, English, and other very nearby people. Yeah, is I think it's okay to make fun of other countries to a degree. Like, I don't know. I make fun of England. You make fun of England. You make, We both make fun of the UK. That's just sort Me? of what life is about. Making fun of the UK. I don't know. The UK are usually our buddies. Then again, they don't like Brussels anymore now, so... Let's not talk about that. Politics are not for Cusa Grande unless the game is about politics. Which sometimes they are. And then, even then, we usually get the politics wrong. <laughs> okay, just waiting for a confirmation from Wizard that he is ready to go. Oh my gosh, I'm enjoying the accordion music. By the way, accordions rock. I just want you to know. Hello, wizard. Hello. So Are you... you ready to collect some sausages that contain um, parts of the Madonna with the big boobies by Van Klomp? What? <laughs> as ready as I'll ever be. By the way, I should have said "allo allo, wizard." You know, to, to yeah, keep... you should have. But... You you ready then? Uh, I think so. So, <laughs> people are confused. So, the this show is about mostly a painting that was um, stolen by the resistance. Well, not stolen; it was hidden by the resistance, so the Germans would not find it. And it is. Um, in their terms, the Madonna with the big boobies, by Van Klomp. Oh, I'm gonna interrupt you for just one second. Mouse, thank you for subscribing. Everybody spam your emotes, especially anything that have hot dogs or dogs in general, because I'm doing the countdown and wish them the best of luck. Spam those dogs. Get the puppies going. And we will be starting in just one second. As soon as I see somebody move inside a stage, I will start our timer. So this is about a painting of mm. Madonna? Um, yes. Okay. 
well, not at all, but that that is the tech. Technically, that's the plot, but they never like actually do anything with it. They well, talk about it a lot. Which one was the fire button? Because I it's totally not agree. Spacebar is totally not getting me into the game. Uh, it should be spacebar. Good start. Yeah, great one. Okay, let's do this the only way I can. Um. Uh, Oh, actually, wait. Back to settings. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just, uh... Okay, we are waiting. Capitalist is typing to us. Welcome to Kusagrane. We sometimes run into issues, but we can give bonus time if needed at the end, if there is some sort of issue. Jingle, thank you for subscribing. Let's go ahead and see what excitement we have here. Uh, they're getting cupcakes and sausages. What's the goal here? Um, so you see the sausages in the middle of the screen. You need to collect all six of them and then find the exit. And the sausages are placed in all kinds of hilarious places. Hmm. So this is, this is a collect-a-thon game, basically. Um, but it has fantastic sprites and some pretty good music. And if you've seen the show, the sprites are literally amazing. They're so close to the actual show, it's, it's unbelievable. And it has so many references to the show, it's, it's just... The game doesn't play very well, but it's it's a masterpiece of... I'm of really liking the music, Allo, Allo. though. Yeah, so this is a fairly good representation of the show, then? Mm -hmm. In video game at, at form. Least, at least level one. After level one, the problem is that uh, this show is completely and utterly only, like, recorded in that one cafe. <laughs> so for level two, they had to improvise. <laughs> Oh, wait, I think I got it. All right. Okay, it looks like everybody is good. Now, took a little while, but that's okay. We're, we're here and moving forward with Capitalist. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. There was improv in this show? Improv? I don't know. Oh, okay. I doubt so. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Now, mind you, it'll be up to our referee to decide if Capitalist will get extra time. Please note that we do ask the players, besides our zombie players, you're a zombie, uh, to uh, test their inputs before starting. So if there was an issue with inputs, there may or may... It, it, it depends on what our referee decides there. So we'll see if Capitalist gets extra time or not. Uh... With that said, it looks like White Panther is doing the best so far. He has two sausages. I know Kevin has seen one of the sausages, but I don't think he collected it. Yeah, you need to press down to collect items, and the sausages can somehow magically disappear into the background sometimes uh. because they're so well camouflaged brown on brown. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, you, you know that it's a good sign when you have important collectibles on top of a background with the same color. Is this a sewer level? Uh, these are just the, the sewers of the cafe, I guess. My gosh. They had, they had underground passages to speak. Of course, person. the very first stage that you get into is a sewer stage. <laughs> Like, this cafe has a very extensive uh, sewer system, I must mm -hmm. admit. Then again, if it's a World War II show and a little bit of a comedy about that, I can sort of understand going to the sewers. It, it makes some sense. So I'll go ahead and give it, a, like, I'll forgive it a little bit. Sewer stages in other games, dumb. This game, acceptable. No, it, it's still dumb, bro. Oh. It's, it's still dumb. Well, the thing is, it's not a sewer stage. It's a oh. cafe stage 
with a sewer section. Well, I apparently <laughs> have gone to hide in a cupboard in a cupboard in a cafe. Uh oh. Oh, a great thing about entering doors is you don't press up, you press down. So why do you go to hide in a cupboard? Uh, who knows? Because <laughs> that happened to White Panther just now as well. I think that's your death. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, but, uh... That was unfortunate. Oh no, pick up the sausage, there we Ooh, go. Ooh, <laughs> Kevin taking a death as well. That might actually be for the best. Kevin has not really figured out what to do in the first stage. Rereading what it says before beginning. I think that dog was urinating, by the way. I just saw a urinating. Or it was. Wow. Um, so <laughs> the the guy that drops the sausage when you hit him is uh Officer Crap, and he is an Englishman who is undercover as a French agent. And he has, well, everyone speaks English, but is supposed to be speaking French. So he's supposed to not be able to speak French very well. And he has these hilarious one-liners where he says, good morning instead of good morning. And um, other really dumb phrases, which are, which are hilarious for the time, I guess. Okay. So we see we see a German officer lose her bra and getting hit there. And now you can you now you have the bra in your inventory and you can throw it at other people. So I presume the main character that you're playing is Rene. Rene Artois. Rene Artois. What's his catchphrase? And, uh not really one he's he's like the the only sensible character he's the he's the only one that doesn't appear to be stuck in a severe like single flat um how do you say this character mm -hmm. uh yeah essentially he actually is a little well-rounded yeah yeah okay all all the other characters say the same thing every single episode so it's like British comedy for today. That's what you're saying. <laughs> it's British comedy, period. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I, I watched the show Little Britain, and that was the biggest waste of my time. Let me just say. Because everybody just said exactly the same thing in every single skit, and there was no point. It was the dumbest show I think I've ever seen. I hate it. I can't wait to feel the same thing about Bob's Burgers. No, Bob's Burgers is brilliant, okay? You're going to love it. Mm. It's sufficiently un-British, I think, is the uh, argument bro is making. Yeah, do you like do you like Little Britain? Because if so, you'll be very disappointed in Bob's Burgers. I, don't I like it. both, so I don't know why this is a uh, comparison here. Did you like Little Britain? I found it entertaining. Oh no, RBW. Oh no. Are we, are we accusing me of not having taste now? Because I can assure you I don't have any. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to accuse you of that. What is Little Britain, Mike? Don't even ask. Don't watch it because it's dumb. Every episode is exactly the same. Yeah, here, like, there are a lot of good comedies. That were made in the UK. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. But Little Britain is not one of those, and it sounds like Alo Alo is kind of in that vein, and I'm not particularly thrilled. So yeah, these sausages are pretty well hidden. I gotta say. <laughs> It looks like White Panther is doing pretty well. Currently in the lead with three sausages. Unfortunately, the exit is somewhere in the sewers. <laughs> so I'm a little bit confused. Where is the health? Uh, the health are your bottles of wine in the bottom left. Or beer, I don't know what it is. Okay. I mean, alcoholic it's a cafe, beverages. so it's the bottles of alcoholic beverages. You lose a bottle... That's essentially a life gone, or... Well, it's a hit. I mean, the, if hit. you get two hits per, uh... 
You get two per hits bottle. Bottle apparently. You gotta drink the bottle and then you gotta eat the bottle. I get it. Also, honestly, the sausages look more like um, really badly made pretzels. Partial pretzels. Yeah. Partials. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hello I also, uh, by the way, see a collectible X's or. Oh, it's are those your current thing to item? Throw. Okay, gotcha. And then coins. Do you know what the coins do, Bangara? No idea. Just points, I think. Oh my gosh. Maybe a hundred give you an extra life. Who knows? The ducking well, sprite is horrifying. There are like, no it, extra lives. You just die and then it's continue. So I, I don't know what they do. It looks like it, like you get decapitated when you duck. Your head just sort you of rests by your feet. I yeah. just uh, collapsed my entire body into a single into a singularity. Ah, okay. But doesn't that happen when you duck, bro? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I duck uh, like a normal human being, not somebody from Night Vale, okay? Quack. Oh my gosh, the duck. Wait, there are ducks. Okay, Bangara, despite this game being... Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, a collectathon. Yes. On based off of a French show that I've never seen and probably will. Ne now I'll watch an episode or two. I'll give it a shot. Uh, but besides that, the music is so good. It's Amiga, man. Amiga games have good music. It's and it's... this game has music and actual sound effects at the same time. Ooh! Imagine that. That is really good for the Amiga. <laughs> Not exactly the most common thing to do when it came to audio. Like, this game is literally way, way better than it ever should have been. And uh, I don't know why. I don't know why this was made, but I'm, I'm glad it did. By the way, I do want you to know that Kevin has collected a sausage so he knows how to do it. That's good. I, I'm glad that everybody knows how to complete objectives and how to make progress now. I don't know what's wrong with these German officers, but why do they keep losing their underwear when they wait, get wait, hit wait. by the telephone? Oh, there's the sausage. Wait, Allo Allo was a British show set in France? Yes. Oh, that's why it's terrible. Okay. <laughs> Wow, I, I thought it was a French show, so I was trying to make excuses for it. <laughs> uh, French shows do not have this demeaning an interpretation of the French. Okay. <laughs> no, let, let's see. The... The... the IT crowd was fantastic, okay? It was so good. It was okay. It was so good. The IT crowd. No, well, it was originally called the IT crowd, but then people realized it was also IT, and it made more sense to say IT, but... Okay. Yeah. There are a lot of fantastic comedies in, made in the UK. I just have to give them a hard time. I was going to bring up one of my favorites, but then I realized it was New Zealand instead, so... Sorry. <laughs> and uh, with that comment, Bersenshi has made an enemy of Kiwis everywhere. No, it's a fantastic show, okay? Uh... I believe it's called What We Do in the Shadows. It's about it's it's a mockumentary about vampires, and it's one of the best shows oh, I've seen. Man. That's a good one. Oh, that it's, is a good show. But it's not British, so that's why it's so good. <laughs> so, who's the second player, Vangara? Uh, um, I think her name is Michelle. And uh, she's uh, the leader of the resistance. Yeah, cryptic. And 
Oh, go ahead. Keep going. She, she has um, the catchphrase, uh, listen very carefully because I'll only say this once. And she says it seven times every show. With the accompanied laughing tra track, of course. I mean, you have to laugh at the same line that's said over and over and over again, right? That's how Especially comedy works. Especially because she's right? only going to say it once. Oh, right. I don't have anything left to throw at them. Great. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you're in a bit of a pickle right now, Royal Blue Wizard. Well, I do have three sausages, so... With that said, White Panther has collected all the sausages. And found the scarecrow that looks like Hitler. Yay, off to level two, where they completely <laughs> ran out of ideas and we're now on the top of a train. Oh, that's, that's okay. What it's, thing is. I was okay. going to say, it's a British comedy, so, you know, it only takes one season to get to this point. <laughs> So, the worst thing you can do in this level is fall down uh, below the, the train tracks because it's incredibly awkward to find out how to get back. And uh, White Panther is doing the right thing in going left first because if you go right first, you're in trouble. <laughs> well, you know, you're not really in trouble, it's just really hard to get all the way back left. And White Panther fell down, and now he has to find a way back up. Oh, I'm just thinking, there are so many terrible comedies that were made in the U.S. as well. The Big Bang Theory? I mean, depends on who you ask, <laughs> but yes. No, 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 he's right. I've, I've, totally right. I've seen like one or two episodes of that, and it seems a little bit intolerable. I'm glad that you can run faster than a train, okay? This, this makes the whole train experience worthwhile. Oh, there goes White Panther. Die. Seinfeld sucked. Oh, those are fighting words, Scuddy. Oh. Scuddy? Wow. Uh, Scuddy in chat said that Seinfeld sucked. My response to that is saying Seinfeld sucked. What's up with that? Anyway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Never seen Seinfeld. Never watch his stand-up comedy, okay? That that's that's the answer. The show was great. His stand-up is a little bit mm, a little on the nose at times. Also so, pretend my uh, Jerry Seinfeld accent is better. The only way to get back up on this train is to either get hit by an enemy and boost back up, or get like that. <laughs> and he immediately fell back down because there's a hole there. Or the tiny, tiny silver ledges on the edges of the of the carts uh, are you can, see. but it, you never find out. It's so dumb. Yeah, I. The pooping birds are a little bit problematic. I don't like them. They also don't really give you any. HP on level 2. Wow. Or anything to throw. <laughs> so you're just stuck jumping around like an idiot. Drinking your... Eating your bottles of beer wine. <laughs> you gotta eat slash drink the beer wine. Okay. So the important part here as well, one, one uh, package or... It's, it's uh, boxes of money to bribe the, the train conductor or something um, is held by Officer Crabtree again. So you need to find something to throw at him and not waste it on something else. But by the time you got there, you probably wasted your thing to throw. <laughs> yeah, White Panther is down to just the bottle. Final bottle. Is, are there any health collectibles in this game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are uh, health What do they ups, look but... like? Mm -hmm. It's probably wall meat. Or beer. Um, maybe? Uh oh. They're rare. You, you don't get many. Why oh, I the bird just killed White Panther. Well, didn't kill. Send him to the closet. Uh, happens to, to the, the best of us.
So there are a number of continues, but I have no idea how many. But they they do seem to be limited from what I from when I played. You know, I'm thinking right now, my favorite British show has to be uh, the Great British Baking Show. It's so good. And they, they just love each other so much and they make really delicious looking food and you get jealous because I want to eat all their food. But that's definitely the best show that about, I've seen from the UK. Oh, the the game shows are great too. I don't think yeah, I've ever uh, seen that. You haven't seen which one? <gasps> Keeping, Keeping up, up appearances. appearances. Yeah, okay. I have not seen that one. It's, okay, it's not good. <laughs> it's, it's not. not good. Well, okay. I'm really partial to Countdown myself. Oh, I, now, and now I'm getting. Nine out of ten cats does Countdown. My fingers are tingling to Google Keeping Up Appearances Amiga game. <laughs> oh, Father <laughs> Ted. Well, Father Ted is. Irish. Oh, geez. I almost said something that probably would have made people very angry. It's Irish. Uh, Duped Invincible Bat. I'd still watch it. Black Books. I'd have to check out Black Books. If it's from the same creator as the It crowd, then I'll definitely watch it. You do realize the it, the IT crowd creator is a problematic individual, yes, bro? You can watch things that have problematic history but still appreciate the content itself. Um, I know nothing about the creator. Literally nothing. I will uh, let you continue living your bless in your uh, blessed ignorance then. All right. Let's, let's go ahead and move on then. And we have our first full game over, it looks like. Train oh, stage no. was too much for <gasps> White Panther. There are full game overs? Yep. Oh, how many? Oh, that's not good. It's like three continues or something. <sighs> Back to collecting pieces of the Madonna with the big boobies in the sausages. Oh, good. Oh yeah, I got a high score. Wait, what? No, I didn't. <laughs> Someone tell me how this makes sense. Please look at player one. Look at my score versus the score right below mine. You've got more callers. <laughs> yes, but I am definitely 80 points lower than the next highest score. Well, I mean, scores are hard, RBW. Scores are hard. <laughs> OJ Mike is gonna is not gonna be happy about this one. This is so dumb. <laughs> yeah, D no, it's DJ Mike. It's not oh. OJ. It's an That's sorry. a uh, different sorry, individual. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, DJ Mike in the house. Not like... Yeah. <sighs> Actually, one thing that I do want to say is that shows could have been made and games could have been made by problematic individuals, but there are some individuals in the shows and the games who contributed who are fantastic people. So yeah, we, we can still definitely be upset about uh, what people have done and actions that they made, but at the same time, there are definitely people within that same media who, uh, you know, believe against that and who, who fight against that. So I don't know, I'm trying to, trying to think, I'm trying to think, 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 think. 
doing the Winnie Pooh, Winnie the Pooh thing, you know. I'm just gonna go after the stream. I'm just gonna go in the corner, tap my head, and be like, think, think, think. How am I gonna beat Robinson with this baseball bat? Think, think, think. Yeah, uh, think and just make. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just make Say think in Russian a bunch of times, and then we can have him be Vinnie Pook. No, I don't want to play Russian Winnie the Pooh. You don't have okay. to play it, you can just watch it. You can be Vinnie Pook. Vinnie Pook. Oh, I like Vincent. it. Vinnie Pook. Yeah? Has Winnie the Pooh's home run derby been on Kusa Grande? Uh, I've played that. It has not been in Kusa oh Grande. My, oh, my God. But now you just gave me an idea. <laughs> oh, my God. Which, I mean, the the whole idea is make people play Winnie the Pooh Home Run Derby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That game is... It's so hard! It's unbelievable. It's so hard! This is the hardest video game ever created. I mean, I've gotten to I've, I've gotten to Christopher Robin, but I was not able to get past that. E like... like Everyone can get to Christopher Robin, but that, I don't that's know. Tigger is pretty difficult. It Tri only it, it only takes like eight hours to get there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I I never started. beat Christopher Robin. Never happened. Yeah, I think too many people have played that. But we can always make him play it again. Oh no. <laughs> the fun never ends. Let the fun end, please. Nope. What about Barney's hide and seek? That game, you can beat that game by doing nothing. Wait, what? The game beats itself after a certain time. That's too good. That is too good. Barney beats himself. Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> moving on to other topics here. It looks like, by the way, Kevin is almost finished with the first stage, which is good. Uh, I don't believe any other player has made it to the train, anyone other than White Panther. Capitalist 111 is also pretty close, just one sausage left. RBWR Zombie has been doing pretty well, but unfortunately did get a game over recently, so he's looking for the sa sausage. I can get three sausages. I'm not sure where the other ones are. Uh -oh. The question is, which part of the Madonna with the big boobies are they missing? What? Like, <laughs> I don't know why this they decided to hide it in sausages in the first place. Because uh, pies work so much better for hiding really anything of any. But how size. French is a pie? I mean, I I can guess which Pretty part French. of the Madonna they're missing. I'm just just saying, it's it's, it's pretty straightforward there. Okay, White Panther. Moving to the left. It's a good direction to <laughs> go. Oh, it looks like other people are enjoying this game. You know what? This game is actually being kind of fun. I'm usually someone who doesn't enjoy collectathons too much because a lot of the times the levels look the same and it's more or less do the same thing over and over again. But one, this game is very much, like, stylized so that every room looks different. I, I can look at the screen and tell pretty much where they are in the map, which is great. Two, every yeah, level is the different. They're both in the sewers. Yeah, there's a lot of sewage there. <sighs> Uh, and then the music. I think that for a collectathon, you have to have absolutely fantastic music. And yeah, I think this has met my expectations for what makes a tolerable collectathon. All right. So collecting 10 coins gets you another hit. 
or another oh. bottle. Is it a full bottle? Yes, you get two hits from it. Ah, nice. I like it. So, collecting everything is uh, a good thing to do. Probably a smart life choice, yes. Kevin, you can't do anything with the Hitler look-alike until you go and get the rest of the sausages. You have one more sausage. I still think they just look like really bad pretzels. So wait, do you give the Madonna to Scarecrow Hitler? Like what? I don't know what he's doing there. Also, why is he in a dress? Because he's Scarecrow Hitler. And it wouldn't be a British comedy if they weren't mocking, uh... Kevin hey, just uh, beat the stage! Yeah. No. But White Panther on his tail. Nice! Yeah, White Panther has already collected a few of the gifts in the train. Mm. What, what's the goal? You collect gifts to give to somebody? You need to... The, the gifts are, like, money boxes, and you need to bribe the train conductor. Wait, uh, it's in the manual. Let me check. <laughs> okay. This would only Why? be funnier if the manual was only in French. Well, this comedy it takes place during World War II, so you kind of have to talk about Hitler. I mean, this is true. Yeah. But I mean, well, no, because Hogan's heroes tended to keep that to a minimum. Oh, really? All right, the train driver is easily bribed to stop for you, but you'll need to collect as much forged as much forged money as you can on the way to the front. Hint: to get a hat, get a hat. There's a hat. What? Oh my gosh, we just blew Xandra's mind. Xandra is currently in chat, and uh, they were asking about this game. They made an Alo Alo game, and the answer is yes. Very much so. What is the arrow thing in the bottom of the HUD? It's usually pointing left, but I've seen it move. Beats me. <laughs> Maybe that shows you where one of the collectibles is? No? I think no. that is only used in two-player mode. Oh, no. You can switch characters. Uh, you can, like, the game... The, the way two players work, you actually have two players to control uh, with, with two players, not like one and... But they can't be on a different screen. So if they go off the screen, the game pauses for them, basically, and you can go back to them if you switch characters. So it's one player, two characters. No, it's two players, two characters, but they can only play at the same time when they're on the same screen. Okay. Does that make any sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Doesn't seem like the most practical way, but it works, I suppose. Oh my gosh, apparently when you get back on the train after running for a while, you have to breathe for like a minute. White Panther. There we go. White Panther has caught his breath. So, four packages of forged money. Okay. So, you're collecting forged or like fake money? I guess. If I were a train conductor, I would demand real money, not any of this fake stuff. Grisuncha, not a train conductor. You don't have to worry about this. What if I want to be a train conductor, huh? I'd uh, be the best then train you should get conductor. In line because I already wanted to be a train conductor before you. Are you sure? How yes. long? Um, let's see. About 15 years now. Yeah, you beat me. Mine was like five minutes ago. <laughs> I kill myself sometimes. Ah, just Resentia don't don't do it, himself. No, just out of laughter, out of laughter. Oh, well, that's a lot less terrifying. <laughs> yeah, my dreams don't last very long. I'm sorry, RBW. <laughs> oh, 
damage boost me, Nazi. Damage boost me. Yeah, that worked. Nope, fell again. Nope, that worked. Do -do 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 I'm hearing interesting sound effects. Was that like a guy shooting? Uh. I'm, I'm glad that you can get a boot and throw boots at people in this game. A boot? What? <laughs> what a boot! Oh my gosh. Like, White Panther is getting the hang of this stage. It's working out pretty dang well. Okay, Capitalist dropping some frames, but hey, who doesn't drop frames every now and then? Yeah, this music is so good. Kevin caught up again. Like, he went through the cafe stage really quickly now. He Kevin... knows where those sausages are hiding. Yeah, the thing is... I, I think that White Panther really struggled remembering where the sausages were, so that made it getting to the second stage again take a really long time. Kevin, though, I don't know if Kevin's mapping it out or at least mentally mapping out where everything is. It, it definitely is helpful. I appreciate how the high score list cares more about player scores than the built-in scores. Your uh, second place, yeah, is very much lower than third place. <laughs> oh, RBW, I love it. This game's so good. Ooh. I love yeah. watching chat here and just seeing some of the discussions about different types of games that were made uh, for different consoles. Honestly, I think it's really surprising to see what gets made. Do you have any idea why this might have been made for the Amiga? Because this was a British show. Okay. Was Amiga primarily in the Commodore UK? Commodore was a, a British company, yeah. Oh, that's, that's right! That's the Amiga was made by Commodore. Yeah. I always forget that. Because it doesn't have the name Commodore? Because it doesn't have Commodore in the name? It's, it's actually the Commodore Amiga. <laughs> well, okay, okay, the Commodore Amiga. Next, you'll tell me that the uh, Magnavox Odyssey 2 wasn't made by Magnavox. No, it's made by Philips. <laughs> yes, it is! Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad you also know this ridiculous bit of uh, trivia. What? And Philips is a Dutch-Belgian company. What? <laughs> yeah, the Magnavox Odyssey 2 was not actually made by Magnavox. Oh no. It was rebranded in the US because there's no Philips in the US. Well, what, there wasn't any Philips. I don't know about now. Uh, I mean, there is, but it's the only thing it's associated with is definitely not something anyone wants to be associated with. What? <laughs> Not like razors or like electric razors or kitchen equipment. I was pretty uh, sure they had other stuff here. They they had a uh, they had a video game console. Well, the CDI. <laughs> yes. Oh, but yeah. like Philips' main thing is like electrical appliances, and then they had a thing with CDs. Well, CD-ROMs. They they invented the CD-ROM with Sony, I think. Genius. Or what, what was it? Uh, not CD-ROM. Was it CD-ROM? Oh no! What? Just the... And they were pretty big in the um, tube TV market. Tube TV? Um, CRT TV market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other tube TVs. Hey, guess what? White Panther has all of the fake money. That's always good to have. Good. This is gonna go buy some stuff on the black market. I think that's a one way uh, trip to getting yourself killed if you try to buy stuff on the black market with fake money, bro. I thought that's what fake money was for. Oh man, White Panther has all the fake forged money. I like the long john underwear there just flapping in the wind. 
Oh, and the train is stopping. Yeah. On to stage three. What will the train... Where will the train bring us next? To another sewer. <laughs> Find crab tree, then collect explosive squirrels? Yes. Oh no, do they have goof gas? What? Do you not remember a game with ex with uh, squirrels and explosions that involve goof gas? Oh no, I remember that very clearly. Let me just say that that was also kind of, kind of a comedy that was about political tensions. So Le less not, about war, but... I could not beat stage three. Wee! Why Panther uh... is dead. Oh, is that game over? I hate this invincible bat. Oh, it yeah. ruins my expectations for anything in this game. <laughs> I'm like, so everything else I can throw stuff at, but no, not this bat. <laughs> Yeah, some enemies are invincible to stuff being thrown at them for various Don't unknown kill reasons. bats! Oh, you... There are other bats that can be killed, but not that one, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Well, he just wants to be your friend. Are you going to deny him friendship? Yes. Okay. Well, considering that it tries to hurt me every time I, uh run into it, I don't think uh, it wants to be my friend. Yeah, that's probably a good reason to say no to being a friend. So, the bird doesn't poop. It drops one of its offspring? <laughs> Essentially the same here. thing! Uh... <laughs> Midair, oh midair, mid birth. Uh, but wait, the bird doesn't even come from an egg. It just bam. Yeah. Bam, baby. Loves out. Well, I mean, skipping a few of the steps helps. <laughs> so the really dumb thing about this level is that there are war points. And those red arrows indicate a war point. Does that look what? like a war point to you? What? No. <laughs> he accidentally got. Wow. There's somebody hiding in a bush. Woo. So, Crabtree is somewhere hidden, and you need to find him first before you can get any of the squirrels. Yeah, what does Crabtree look like? He's uh the guy with the flat top hat and the mustache. He's this the guy? Uh yeah, that guy. Well ah. I'm just following around because he doesn't actually hurt you. Yeah, he's and your he friend. He says good morning. Good morning. Oh, Super. you know what? Inspector Clouseau was the best. He wasn't British. He was French, though. And he was the best French character in a movie ever. Uh, I hope you mean the Peter Sellers incarnation. Well, yes, Peter Sellers incarnation, obviously. Because the other alternative means, uh, I have apparently more taste than you do, bro, and I thought we were already establishing that I have none to begin with. <laughs> No, Peter Sellers is so good. Like, honestly, Doctor Strangelove is fantastic. The old Pink Panther movies, I haven't seen any of the new ones. So yes. I can't say how Steve Martin did. I, I just didn't want to be disappointed, so I never watched him. It's standard Steve Martin playing a role that someone else made famous and did better because he doesn't really have his own original things to do. I mean, he used to. Yeah. That, unfortunately, is the operative uh, word there. Aw, Steve Martin. He kind of became the Nicolas Cage of comedians, huh? Pretty much. 
He should have just stuck to being a dentist. You'll be a dentist. You've got a knack for giving out pain. <laughs> uh, welcome to Cuso Grande, everyone. We've uh, decided to stop playing terrible games, and now it will just be Brisentia serrating us with various musicals. Look, that is a fantastic musical, okay? Oh, Little it shop. is. So good. It is. It's an absolutely fantastic musical. I'm just greatly amused that you ha you knew the reference immediately and began oh, yeah. singing it. I took a kitty cat, bashed in its head. That's what my mother said. What did she say? <laughs> you should start looking at how many forged money packages um, both Kevin and uh, Capitalist get to like see who's in the lead. Well, White Panther is obviously in the lead, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently, Kevin has gotten four, and Capitalist has gotten two of the money All right. packages. Alright, my feelings on the matter are uh, being expressed very carefully here. Uh-oh. I hope I spelled that right. Whatever you're you're a zombie. Can zombies spell? I mean, the guy in six tried to spell well and said Weppel. <laughs> Weppel. <laughs> I love it, Bangara. You know what? Part of me actually feels that it's okay to put players ahead of the fake score people on the scoreboards. Why even, like, it always annoyed me. It's like, yeah, guess what? Mr. Holmes actually didn't play this game because, one, he never existed. Sherlock is not a real character. How is he on the leaderboard? Stupid Sherlock. So putting real people ahead of imaginary people, okay in my book. What real people would you be okay with, and which one wouldn't you be okay with? Like, if Steve Buscemi played and got a score on it, I would be okay with that. But be he's like, a okay, cool kid. yeah, he he got a better score than I did. That's pretty awesome. Every real person, I would, I would put on a leaderboard and accept that, you know. Oh, uh, did you end up looking for cats with Steve Buscemi's face? I think I did. And I think it was a mistake. Let me see. <laughs> I thought Benedict Cumberbatch was actually a dragon who had taken human form so that he could uh, fulfill his dream of acting. According, uh, and to explain where that came from, an uh, individual in chat stated that uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is not real. And uh, I am debating that. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Kevin is up to six of the packages, by the way. I feel like... I feel like the eyes aren't dug into the skull enough. Eh. Eh. Well, if you don't like it so much, maybe you should Photoshop it, huh? Maybe I will. Maybe don't be a critic until you show us your skills. I mean, I'm showing my skills by giving people alo alo. Hello. Oh, Speaking okay. Of the critic, that was actually a pretty good comedy. I only know the one scene from the critic. <laughs> I only know the meme, that's all I ever saw. And Scuddy proclaims the uh, obvious quote of, It stinks! Right. Oh no, capitalist! That is a death. Fly out so to space. So many coins. So many coins on that screen. By the way, I do want to say, Kevin has the possibility of passing White Panther. White Panther has been in the lead this entire time. But if Kevin get, can get to stage three and find the the one dude. Pursuit equal bat. 
then he'll end up moving into the lead. We'll have to see what happens, though. You mean uh, Officer Crabtree? Yeah, Good yeah, yeah. Good morning. Morning. My name is Officer Crabtree. <laughs> That's how I imagine he probably talks. The critic meme? No, the one where he wakes up and answers the phone. Scotty, that, that's the critic meme that I'm talking about. I mean, that's that's at the beginning of every episode. Yeah, uh, but... Like, Kevin it wasn't even died. a good meme. It was a dumb one. I hated it. But that's Kevin how I know died it. died right at the end of the stage, didn't he? On... <sighs> Alright. That's enough for me. Well... <laughs> Oh no! How many minutes do we have left? Hey, at least you nine. Beat... Nine minutes? Ugh. Yeah, we have a lot of time left. All you right, beat Smithy. All right. I'm glad about that. We've got plug and flug. I'm glad that at least it put you, uh, like, in the right place that time with your score. <laughs> oh yeah, it did. I really don't know how it figures <laughs> out ranking at all. Does your score roll over at some point? No, that can't be possible because my score is, uh, hot garbage. I don't know. So, just so everybody knows, Royal Blue Wizard is our zombie for the day. Essentially, a zombie player is somebody who is just filling a spot that one person was not able to show up for. Uh, they do not Man. count for taking first or last or any of the places, and essentially are just here to fill in a spot and give us opinions about the game, which, actually, I want to hear, what are your opinions, Royal Blue Wizard? Games. Wow, that is very much an opinion. Thank you for sharing it. Good zombie. Use your games to help us. <laughs> anyway... The games. Oh, I missed. Heck. Eat teddy bear. Where is Officer Crabtree? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you, Bangara. Which is probably for the best, in, since I've never actually seen this game. Or the TV show, or really anything. You haven't seen anything? <sighs> related to the... Well, I've seen okay. sausages, and those are related to the show. Okay, I, I really went overboard when I said I haven't seen anything. Thank you for correcting me. I'm always here for you, Brasentia. <laughs> I question Bangara's claim. Yeah, that sounds like a Bangara lie. Absolutely. Tell me about the time I wasn't there for you. Like yesterday. <laughs> yesterday I had to go teach class. Where were you? You weren't there for uh, me. What was I doing yesterday? Yeah. Actually, I streamed the video game. Oh. Oh, putting video games over me. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> oh, we've got just under five minutes left. Why, Panther? Taking another death. Is this going to be a full game over? The end? Question mark? It's the high like score long, list. But... Oh, rip. Never found Officer Crabtree, so that means if Kevin or Capitalist get those uh, fake monies in, they still got a chance. I like how I can select non-sound, music, sound effects, both. or both. Yeah, it's like, well, non-music, <laughs> effects, both. It's good. It's good to have options, RBW. 
Anyway, uh, my take on this game is that it is a perfectly competent 2D uh, collectathon with excruciating level design, and as collectathons are wont to do. And uh, a very British sense of humor, as Allo Allo is uh, what. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Okay. Which, like, I, I'm just thinking, it probably fits the bill when it comes to uh, Kuso. Uh, at the same time, it seems like it, especially fans of the show, would probably enjoy playing this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I enjoyed this. And especially when it came out, I imagine people would probably fairly happy with the game if I they mean, were a fan of the show. This is a 1982 show, and this came out in 1993. Well, the series ended, as far as I can see, in 1992, so there was possibly a way to keep the series living on. There was eight, eight seasons or something, and then the game. And then the game. So this is like... Yeah. Yeah, I can... <sighs> but how many kids would have watched the show... Or oh, enjoyed the show. Everyone in Europe. <laughs> yeah, in the eighties, but by ninety three, you know, are know. kids going to be playing this, or maybe this was a game aimed at it? I'm really confused about the audience here, because <sighs> it in is the a 90s, bit lewd. It is a bit lewd in places, so it was definitely not only for kids. Okay. For proper British comedy for everyone. That makes sense. How? Trust me. Because they're, they're a bit cheeky with the lewdness. Here's the deal. I get good British humor, Seawolf. Seawolf was saying he wonders if he actually gets British humor. And you get the good stuff, is what I'd say. If you laugh at it, you're, you're, you're fine. Heck. All right, come on, Kevin. One last sprint to the finish. That's all uh, the packages. Oh, yeah. no! No, Ka Kevin is doing okay. Ducking. You just need to get to the end to solidify. Well, I, I think second place is already solidified, but he could potentially move to first if he just hustles. Jump! Yes! The stage is done. Gotta wait for the train to stop. Oh, this, and this is not happening. I have to find Officer Crabtree. This is not happening. Actually, Chad is pointing out something that is probably worthwhile. 93 is a little bit late for the Amiga, so not only was it a late game for the series, but it was a late game for the system. It was probably something that just was the wrong time for this game to come out. It should have come out like at least two or three years earlier for it to be relevant and to do well at all. One minute. Yeah, we, we've got... We're getting close to the end. Ugh. Kevin could potentially still move into no. first. It, it's no. probably not going to happen. He's on one bottle of HP. And... Well, the beer wine, I don't know. It could keep him going. 15 seconds left, just gotta find... Oh my gosh, the jumps! They're so good! Like, Kevin has really figured out the platforming in this. It's not gonna be enough, though. I think we're right at the end. Well, Kevin... Say... Uh, 
not a low, a low, but goodbye, goodbye, because that match is finished. Oh my gosh, Bangera. I kind of enjoyed this, not gonna lie. Uh, the, it's music, the music helps. Oh yeah, the music definitely helps. It's not a game that I would probably, like, go seek out for myself, but if for some reason I sat down at, like, somebody's house and they had me play this, I would have had fun. It would have been worthwhile. There's a two-player mode. Yeah, all you people out there in Twitch land, if you want to play this two-player, go for it. White Panther, by the way, took the victory here. Cavin second, Capitalist one 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 third, and Royal Blue Wizard was a zombie. Thank you for being our zombie Games. wizard. Games. Games. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see if we have anybody who's wanting to come and join. I see... Uh, uh, I'm letting White Panther know. Oh, it looks like White Panther is here. Hello, White Panther! Hi! Holy cow, holy cow that was amazing. <laughs> hey, so, yeah, congratulations on the victory. What are your thoughts about the game? Um... Fall damage is kind of surprising after like what was happening in that, but uh, level three was I I don't know what was happening. I was just like starting to say in chat, like apparently I'm supposed to be looking for some sort of cannibal before I can get the squirrels. I would, you like, need you to find Officer Crabtree. It says in okay. the start of the level. Officer Crabtree. Okay. I, I well, I mean, I would, if I would have found him, I would have hit him because I you know gave a thing at every other level. Um, <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah, I, I, that that is a maze and like. The squirrels make a noise when you reach down to try to pick them up, even though you can't, which is like the extra frustrating part of that. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the squirrels were kind of butts there. You you did really well, though. Honestly, uh, there was only one other player who made it to stage three, and that was right at the end. Oh, wow. Uh, so you definitely had a solid lead pretty much the entire time. That's pretty good. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, I, I was, like, really worried, like, the first time you fall off the train and, like, I, I can't jump back on, like, there's got to be somewhere you can jump back on and then just, like, constantly draining your health and then, uh. <laughs> So yeah, what are your thoughts about the game? Silver thing. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting. I mean, it, you know, it, it's certainly a, a lot better than the games I played in the first two rounds. Um, but, yeah, the, it's just, you know, very tricky to get around, figure, figure out where you're going, you know. Like, once you get a handle on where those items are, pick up and where the exit the level is. I mean, I was I was lucky I went front to, uh, back to front on the train. Because like, like I was not sure which direction I wanted to go. And picking the right direction really helped out a lot. Oh, yeah. I think going left was definitely, well, the correct choice. It didn't really say too much, like, if you need to go to the cabin or where you even need to go. So, yeah, roll yeah. the dice. You go to that weird doll at the end of stage one. That's... <laughs> I think like, it's it's Hitler. Yeah, right. I, mean, I don't want to say that, but yeah, it's like there's nothing wrong with saying the name Hitler. Yeah, yeah. It's an... he's not Voldemort after all. Oh, no, yeah. No, we <laughs> ah, but yeah. yeah. So I think one thing that I particularly liked about the game was the music. The music was a hot jam the entire time. Oh yes, yeah, it, it was actually really great. Surprisingly, I you know, I mean, it gets repetitive. It's it's kind of a short string, but it's not bad for what it is. Yeah, I I suppose it gets a little bit repetitive. Uh, I didn't even think Just about like that. Just like the show. <laughs> oh oh, there we go. All you British people well, out there. <laughs> I guess I have to I have to watch an episode of the show tonight or something. I don't know. Maybe. Well, it was a British there. comedy from '82 to '92. So if you like '80s British comedies, then it's right up your alley. And if you don't like the rest of the world, then <laughs> good luck. Go enjoy. <laughs> right. <laughs> ah, anything else you want to say? By the way, anything that's going on in your life? Um, you know, not don't really have a whole lot to plug here. So just you know, thanks for putting on a really cool, fun event, and th thanks for everybody watching. Oh yeah, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for playing, and you know, we've got one more match for you later on, and best of luck with that as well. All right, great, thank you. All right, see ya. Well, 
Bangera Wizard, thank you so much. Wizard for playing and suffering a little bit. Bangera for choosing this game. It has been a blast. All right. See you next time, next week. Who knows? Till next time, Bangera. Till next time, Wizard. All right. Later. Later.